What's up everybody? D. Alarama here. And today, I'm a chef. I'm gonna show y'all a little meal right here made with some noodles. And some tuna fish. Now, first thing you're gonna do, you can open that up just a little bit. Let it go the rest of the way. What you wanna do, you're gonna take the, the shake that's in here, you wanna take that, you want to pour it out. Oh, I'm going to rest of the way. And you want to be careful that you don't rip the bag just yet. The shake, you can throw it away or you can eat it. It's pretty good, like, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take the seasoning pack out. And once you get the shake out, go ahead and take your hot water. You can get it from the microwave or a coffee pot, however you want to make your hot water. Pour it onto the bag. Once you pour it in there, you're going to let it sit there for a little bit. You don't want to let it sit too long, just long enough so it can kind of get into the noodles. Then you're going to pour it out. You pour it out. I fold the bag over. You want to let it sit like this for Maybe about 30 seconds. Just kind of let the steam in there build up. You want to get it kind of soft. It's pretty soft right there. I'm gonna add a little more water again to it. I should let it sit a little bit longer. Now, a few people know what's going on here. Some people don't know what's going on. While we're doing this, I'll go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this video, my channel, and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Once we open it, I'm going to take it and open up the noodles like that. Well, now they're kind of busted a little bit, but what you don't want to do, you don't want it to to rip apart, you want all the noodles to stay together whole. Oh, go ahead and take a little seasoning pack. Sprinkle a little bit of seasoning on there. Now my tuna fish, it's already got seasoning in it. It's got mayonnaise and a pickle relish in it. I would have done some eggs, but I feel like I'm waiting. But I guess I probably could have still done some eggs. And you put it on a uh, soup like that, fold it over, and that's what's called a soup sandwich. Now, I mean, I got bread, so it ain't like I ain't got no bread or whatever, but some noodles and some tuna fish, pretty good. And you fold this back over like that, give it back, just like you would a regular hamburger. There you go. Got a soup sandwich. I'm gonna tell you, there's about a, a million meals you can make with, with a pack of ramen noodles. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. For those of y'all that know where this came from, go ahead and share and subscribe. For those of y'all that don't know, go ahead and share and subscribe. But I mean, it ain't no secret. 
and I've been locked up several times, county jail off and on, prison twice. But I thank God that he saved me and redeemed me and that I am no longer who I once used to be. But every now and again, I still eat these to show that I don't want to go back, but if I do, I know how to cook. No, I'm just joking, I ain't gonna go back. I don't do no wrong. At least breaking the law wise. But anyways, yeah, have a good one. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm getting us a soup sandwich and many different flavors. Y'all have a good one.